we're waiting, you know, all these cars are still spewing out fumes. They're still burning gasoline. And actually, pound for pound, uh, an idling car is worse than a, uh, a moving car. First of all, you're not doing any work. And secondly, the cars are, are dirtier when they're idling because they're not running in their power range. Their power range is about 3,000 to 6,000 RPM for a gasoline engine. And the problem is when you have to have these antiquated mechanical linkages between the gas engine and the wheels. You know, an electric car doesn't have that because it uses moving, moving lines of force to communicate torque differences between the motor and the ground. More gas cars, but we still have not found our electric cars. We're still looking for even a golf cart, anything at all. You know, just any little, oh my God. Ah, uh, we weaseled in. Good thing we're an electric car. We have all kinds of acceleration. <laughs> Long lines of gas cars, suburbidons, Yamangasori, tacos, everything. All sorts of weird things. And oh my God, if you saw it was on the freeway, it's not even rush hour, but look at all that. More gas cars, still no electric cars, still looking for an electric car, even a golf cart, anything. No electric cars. All we're finding are gasoline cars, forklifts, electrical, in big industrial machinery, find an electric car. Now let's take a look at this at this freeway and see what it looks like. See all these thousands of cars that should not exist, and certainly shouldn't be burning gasoline. Well, we may be getting closer. Somewhere around here, there might be a, an electric car company somewhere here. Looking for those electric cars. You know, maybe they just don't exist. Maybe they even wiped out all of the little golf carts. Maybe there's just no such thing. There seems to be a lot of gas cars here and trucks and all sorts of things. There's a fish palace. No electric cars. Motor Sports Direct. Gee, supposedly around here there's a there's an electric car company that has little golf carts someplace. I sure don't see them. <laughs> well, I'm still looking back to where we started here. Well, it isn't that easy to find. Um, but, uh, there it is. Out here, let's take a look and see. Of course, they're not going to have any full function electric cars, none of the 80 mile an hour things. But here's a little scooter. Probably goes 25 miles an hour. Here's a little here's a little golf cart that goes about 25, and it plugs in. This is a, this is real and it exists. And if you have a solar system, wow, look at that! You can have a little little truck that can haul things. And here too is a nice little coupe. And this is like a little Jeepster. Wow. So we do have little electric cars. There's a little scooter. And here's like a little Zen thing over here. The view from the back of the shop. Imagine this little place hiding out here in this shopping center is the last place that you can buy electric cars in all of Long Beach, maybe all of Los Angeles. Amazing. So what kind of batteries do they use in these golf carts? Well, these are 140 amp hour Discover batteries. These are apparently the best available now. So this is a 48 volt system. Now, the RAV4EV has a 288 volt system, but these might be the very best batteries and they might, might actually lead acid batteries will do fine for a 40 mile range. The 1999 EV1 with Panasonic lead acid batteries went up to 110 miles on a charge. And the same thing with the 1997 when it had, was retrofitted with Panasonic batteries. So lead acid batteries can do 40 miles. And what about this one? Well, this one has the Trojan T105s, 
that's what they're using here. Those are also lead. And this little truck here uses the US 2200, also the golf cart batteries. Isn't this a nice little truck? You know, if it went 40 miles an hour even, if that were possible, it would be wonderful. If it, even 50 should go, you know, then it would be really a, a dynamite truck. 25 just a little too slow, but it's getting there and it's a nice little truck for driving around airports and golf carts, golf courses and things like that. So we finally found eCargo.com, but it wasn't easy. It's hidden in this little shopping center with absolutely no signage and no one even knows it's here. So out of all those cars with all those shopping, big, big shopping centers and all that expensive real estate, this tiny little electric car company that sells golf carts is all that's left. On this little used street, 28th Street in Long Beach. Wow, on the corner of 28th and Juan Apero. So that's what this trip was all about, was dropping off literature and seeing what kind of golf carts were available there. But it's, it's interesting, we've hardly used any of the uh, fuel here, the electric fuel. We're still basically full and we still have over 100 miles range left on this car. Now, doggone it, you know, uh, how come, you know, this, this car just doesn't seem to exist? Now, uh, what if we took it on the freeway? You know, would that be a big test? Maybe if we could take it on the freeway, we could prove to General Motors that it exists. But, you know, I don't know. Is, is there a way to get on here? I've got to figure out how to get on the freeway, and then I'll be in that, in that mess there. So let's see if it does anything on the freeway. Can this car actually go on the freeway? Or, you know, will I run out of juice before I get there? Okay, we're on our way again. Another red light, another stop, more gas cars, lots of gas cars. Oh my gosh, let's see. There's lots of gas cars over there. And we're gonna try to get on this freeway. Uh, we do have the carpool stickers. So let's see if we can just go in the carpool lane here and just go past all the dyno cars. Oh my gosh, look at this freeway. What a mess, you know, and it's just so many cars. But can we keep up with them? I mean, we're just a little electric car, you know, we can't, maybe we can't keep up with all those big old gas cars. <laughs> we only weigh about 3,200 pounds. Yeah, it's about 300 pounds more than the Volt would weigh if the Volt ever existed. 